Okay, so I've gone and gotten a couple rabbits here. Now these are mini lops. They are uh, uh, about seven weeks old now, a little over seven weeks. And they are out of the same litter, okay? And, and um, we have two different colors here, obviously, if you can't tell. Um, this one here is a chestnut here on the left and is actually um, very, very awesome. I love that guy. Uh, these are both boys. Um, and then this one here, if you look, this is gold tip steel. Okay, this is what steel is going to look like. You can pull the hair back, you can see when I blow into the fur, there's no agouti rings. None. There's no agouti rings, meaning the steel, even though this is an agouti rabbit, has removed those rings. Okay, we can come over and do the same thing with our chestnut here. And we can see the goody rings. Um, so therefore, this rabbit is not a steel. This is a chestnut, and, and this is going to be a steel. Um, that's the best representation. Now, there are other colors which can, can look similar to this. Uh, chinchilla is one, but again, remember, chinchilla is going to have a goody bands. Um, uh, but you'll see ticking like that sometimes on the size of like a silver marten uh, or your otters. But this is, covers the entire body, and and we believe that the when we bought this uh, particular doe that had this litter, she um, she was definitely not steel. She was actually Siamese sable, and our uh, the the buck had been listed as a chestnut, which was more likely not a chestnut but a silver tip steel or a gold tip steel and that's why we have gold tip steels and we got a chestnut here is because he was not super steel if he would have been super steel the entire litter would have looked like the steel um, but he was not he was he was a steel carrying a full extension as a second gene which is less dominant than steel and that's how we got a chestnut um, out of that litter we got four of these these gold tip steels so gold tip steel is going to be the primary color that you're going to get out of that your secondary color is going to probably be uh, depending on what the second allele is which we believe to be uh, uh, chestnut or the full extension so that's how we got a chestnut let me grab a harlequin and we'll take a look at that so i grabbed a tricolor and the reason I grabbed tricolors is because we knocked out two things at one step, at one with one rabbit here right now. The uh, harlequin that I have, she's actually getting ready to kindle here very quickly, so I'm not going to pull her out right now. But this is a tricolor. As you can tell, the tricolor is uh, basically if it was just a, if we had no white on this rabbit, this would be a harlequin. Okay. Now because we've taken and we've added white. To this rabbit which is the broken gene um, we've turned a harlequin into a tricolor and this is how tricolor should represent the only thing that I would like to see uh, better given that tricolor is actually um, we've been working on developing tricolor for some time we've really we've really struggled at times uh, of getting the alleles to line up right and getting the the stock to, to do them um, we, we're, we're still trying to get the brindling out this is the best representation out of our last group that we've been able to get a lot of times the brindling will will be banded across the back uh, the brindling is mixed across the entire body and this time we, we we're, we're much closer um, we're going to continue to work on that uh, again Trying to work out things out of a brindled rabbit is going to be very hard. It's going to be very time consuming. But if you don't have the stock locally, you got to work on it yourself and, and build it yourself. And so we've been working towards pushing the agouti uh, and pushing, um, getting the, the harlequin alleles to line up properly. And once we do that, we'll start getting much nicer 
uh, balance of color on the rabbit as well as less of this brindling that you see. It'll be very, very patchy uh, as it should be in, in, our, in our stock. So we're still working on a great part of this. This girl here, she's going to be part of the next batch. Uh, we're going to continue to use her because she's closer to, than, uh, to what we're trying to get. But again, we started with two very, two or three very brindled rabbits, and this is where we are now using a a very poorly marked tricolor, and and we're trying to work this together. And so this 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 girl here is going to be part of the the next group of of tricolor projects, and our harlequins as well. And so hopefully we'll be able to to clean this up. But this is a good example. Of, of harlequin gene at, at play is going to be responsible for a good like say a good without the white uh, you're going to have a harlequin but um, with white you're going to get tricolor and so your best option to get tricolors are going to be able to use um, harlequins with another rabbit that carries the EJ such as a Charlie which we'll talk in more detail later on at the end of the series on how to work in uh, the Harlequin Gene. It's going to have its own video, and uh, there's going to be a couple other videos we're going to add to that in different programs, including Blue Eyed White and uh, Red Eyed White. So, but that's an example of that. Let me grab you a tort and I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, this is Hoke. He is a blue tort. Um, he is, um, you can kind of see that coloring, the shading there on his side. You'll usually see it right here along along the flanks of the rabbit. Uh, he's probably a little harder to see because he is a dilute. Um, but this is a, a Holland lot his, and he is just an absolute sweetheart and just so awesome to work with. He's a lot of fun. And But this guy, he is a, a representation, representation of Tort. Uh, you can look up on online anywhere black tort, blue tort. Um, the same with goes with uh, Sable Point. Uh, you can look those up. In Sable Point, we'll kind of see this marbling effect, this tort uh, tortoise shell feature through the body um, as well. Uh, take note, however, that it is blended in in most cases uh, to the color of the rabbit. Okay. It is blended in. It's not. It's not patchy or anything like that, like we would see in a broken with broken white. You can have broken black torts. Um, you you can. The broken gene is not the same. Uh, it's actually in the next locus point we're going to be talking about. But Hoke here is a, a good example of tort. Um, and and so the main thing you're wanting to look for is that shading that you can kind of see there uh, in in the fur color. And that's, that's your clear giveaway that it's uh, non-extension as it work. Okay, that concludes this video. We're going to go into broken either later today, if I get time. I'm still working on rabbit cages. So if I get time, I will get to uh, the broken gene. It's a really easy gene to understand. And we're going to show you a broken black tort and a black tort and how uh, the broken gene actually uh, looks different uh, within the same color rabbit okay so uh, we will show you that in the next videos but until then i will let you kind of go over this one and try to, to catch up and we'll do broken next